Hello there guys and welcome to my track guide of the Nagaro circuit for the CRS FFSA League drivers. Nagaro is a relatively flat flowing circuit with only 6 meters difference in elevation change between its highest and lowest points. It's raced clockwise and consists of two wide long straights linked by sections of several slow flowing corners. In qualifying trim with no ballast, the fastest drivers are expected to be lapping in the high 133s, whilst race pace encourages mid to high 34s. The first section of the lap consists of several flowing turns, mainly of 90 degree and hairpin corners. Dropping down two gears for turn one, you're immediately thrown into turn two. Now to maximise the exit of turn two, you should cut as far left as possible whilst maintaining the rear end of the car to get the best run out of turn two, uh, which in these front wheel drive cars is going to be rather tricky. Turn three arrives after a sudden drop in elevation, which if unaware can throw the rear end out and you'll find yourself turning in before it feels right to gain the most out of this corner. Turns 4 and 5 are opposites of each other, turn 4 being a hairpin which encourages late braking with a shallow entry and a tight exit, and turn 5 having a sharper entry opening up on exit. After a kink to the right you're fired onto the wide straight for a breather. Braking heavily just before the 100 meter board you want to trail brake the car deep into the corner, picking up the throttle and using as much kerb on exit as possible. Next, once again, is a small flick to the right, which should be taken at full throttle before braking into the sharp acute left. Following the outside of the track, you should push the limit of the curbing on corner exit for the following left, keeping the car pinned, aiming for the racing line. The next double right-hander should be taken following the curbing on the inside entry. You'll see that the curbing follows the entry of the corner and then tightens. You want to follow the line of the entry curbing which will allow the car to follow round for the second right hander achieving an optimum double apex exit towards the penultimate corner. Drop one gear for the flick right but be wary not to run too deep and ruin the exit onto the start finish straight. Use all of the excess curbing where needed on the final corner to maximise the racing line and keep right for turn one. 